Hi, um, today we'll talk about uh, uh, autism classification using uh, GLCM and SVM. So, uh, here we are going to use uh, GLCM uh, feature extraction and, and we are going to classify uh, using SVM. So, uh, <coughs> so we'll start with uh, training. Uh, so, we'll go with training first. So, here we, we have uh, used uh, different subjects of images for normal and autism based and uh, so here we have the data sets uh, for the training purpose so I'll just go for training right away so the training has been happening here you can see the bottom so training is completed so I, I think we have taken like 30 images something like that so for, so you can increase the images if you want so that you, you can you can play with the accuracy okay so let's go with the uh, We'll go for a testing image. So I'll take uh, any subject. So we have an enhanced version of that uh, original image, and then I'm going for GLCM feature extraction. So based on the feature extractions, you can see the values here of the features. So obviously, I'm going to use like seven features here. So it's going to be put on, put up in a matrix. Uh, and I'm going to recognize okay and the subject it says autism so let's go again and say uh, select any okay I'll select the subject or let's assume now select this subject number okay so this is supposed to be a normal image let's see what happens perfect and this subject is supposed to have autism feature extraction recognition so fine so let's take uh, some other subject from the data set uh, take some normal image okay so there is yeah fine let me take <laughs> so here it goes so we have uh, uh, somewhere like 99 percent accuracy so probably one or two will miss but still so it's a perfect implementation of uh, GLCM and SEM classification. So normal, perfect. So just walk through the code uh, quickly. You can have a look at it. So you can see the GLCM gray uh, matrix here. So we have been using like you know feature seven. So, so this is how it works. This is the GLCM part of feature extraction. And uh, of course you can you can train with you know, any number of images as per your requirement. Okay, thank you.